COVID-19 has totally changed how we live our lives, especially for children. So how do we talk to them about it? Now news reporter Eddie Randall talked to a family and child therapist. So Dr. Ziegler, we know COVID-19 has had an impact on everyone in some shape or form, but we wanted to talk about the impact it has on kids. We know right now they're not going to school. So how does this impact children and the different age groups? I think it affects kids in different ways, depending on their ages. So children still love hanging out with their parents and they will thrive off of the attention that they're getting from them. So I would say school age children are probably least impacted. While they miss their teachers and their friends, they're generally doing okay. Middle school age children. They, on the other hand, they're starting to gain their independence. Their biggest thing is that they need a lot of physical activity and their physical activity is probably down. Then we look at high school age kids. Yeah. This is by and large the hardest hit group. They are the ones that have been doing SAT preps, getting ready for proms, getting ready for graduation. They are the ones that really are suffering the most. High school kids are missing a lot of big moments because school is out. How tough is this going to be on them? They're tired of this. They're bored. They just want to move forward. And so I'm most concerned about how hard this has hit, really. All of those high school kids who had so many big things, sports, they had tournaments to look forward to, finals and things, and they um, just got that all either taken away or severely delayed, and everything's unknown. You know, we hear about the negative a lot, but there could be a positive impact, especially with upperclassmen. They are going to have practice resilience, which is something that every parent always wants to know. What's the secret sauce to having a resilient or a gritty kid? Well, we're living it right now. And Dr. Ziegler says this is not a one time conversation that parents should be talking with their kids about this subject on a daily basis because we're constantly getting updates about this. But again, she says not to focus on the negative, but make sure you're reminding your kids that we don't know when this is going to end, but we know that there will be an end. Corey, it was really nice talking to Dr. Ziegler because we talk about, you know, the number of deaths. We talk about, you know, how many people have lost their jobs and we sometimes could forget that this is impacting kids as well. Absolutely affects kids big time and they know more than we think they know sometimes. So that's some really yeah. great advice from Dr. Ziegler. Eddie, thank you.